Today we are doing this precious little angel some pop smokes so she came today this is KJ's little cousin and she wanted her little pop smoke so I'm just showing you guys how I parted it out um, in four sections on each side so that would make eight braids okay for like a bigger head or thicker hair you could do five so that would make ten braids okay so yeah she also has her own channel um, so she already knows how to entertain, as y'all could see. <laughs> KJ would not leave her alone. He just was demanding to be picked up so he can get into everything on the table, of course. And guys, my voice is so gone and terribly sounding nasty, but I don't feel like I really want to talk as much on this video because I'm forcing it at this point. But I know it's been a while, my honeys, and y'all like, where have you been? And guess what? Um... I'm back and I have footage that is just sitting around and I need to get it out of here. So I am about to start getting it out of here so we can make new and fresh footage, okay? But um, her and KJ was just uh, chilling. I just thought y'all would like to see them together because we haven't been around in a while. So I'm going to come in, my honeys, with the important facts of the style and then um, I will talk to my honeys in a hot second. Now you guys know I use the Shine Gem. In the purple jar, they also have, you know, the uh, yellow jar. But I like the purple jar. And um, no, it doesn't make your hair white. Um, it makes it more greasy, but it helps it to stay. Now, when you are parting it, that shine jam helps you to get those crisp, straight lines, okay? So, that's what I like to use it for down my part. Like, I'm greasing the scalp, and then I go in and um, part. Now, when you part and you want to do like a clean, straight through type of part, if you can. Because if you try to go in and do, you know, a little piece by piece, um, it seems to kind of make you have to redo it and redo it but if you could just get one straight clean part and be done with it it's just just even all better at the bottom by her ear you need to look my honeys and see if those sections are equal okay you don't want too much hair over here and too much hair over there and um yeah basically you're just gonna part it out and keep looking at both sections to make sure you know that you have enough hair over here and enough hair over there. So I put that shine jam all over that piece there. So as I'm braiding and grabbing it, it is laying. Okay, once this stuff dries, it's locked and loaded. So I um, decided to start doing like a part down the middle of a section and putting more shine jam there, which just helps me to keep my braid organized and sleek you know what i'm saying so like i said when it dries it'll be locked and loaded especially if you're doing like a stitch braid you want as much product as possible because that's how you're going to kind of achieve the stitch okay so once i get all of that jam through there i comb it through comb it through leaving her a little bit of baby hairs and then as i when i'm done combing it all through front and back I will take the back of the comb and kind of smooth those sides down just so everything could be nice and smooth, okay? I part out a section at the top, so therefore, 
your braid could start as close to the part as possible. That's what you want. You don't want your braid to be starting all the way down away from the part. So I just section me off a little piece there and then break it into three pieces. And then I just proceed to do these crossovers, guys. And every crossover, you want to grab hair from either side, okay? So... KJ want to play all in the jam and fake grease his scalp. Boy, bye. <laughs> but anywho, uh, the first crossovers, I'm not grabbing any hair because I want to lock and load that. Then I will start taking pieces of hair with every crossover. Now, the smaller the piece that you would make, guys, the better the braid will be gripped and come out um, perfectly, okay? Because... Is, is pretty slippery with the jam but that jam is working magic right now because it's helping the hair to lay down okay no flyaways and then you won't worry about having like a loose braid the little pieces that you grab okay your braid will be nice and tight
Now, with this gel, my honey, you know, you have to comb through your pieces of hair. You know, you got three strands of hair that's between those fingers. And you want to comb that hair straight. Any hair that's sticking out, you can always tuck it back to the next strand or just comb it down flat into that hair. But you, you must comb it so that your braid can be nice and sleek and you don't see that tangled looking hair through your braid. So, um... If you need to add more jam to that section because that hair is a little dry, then that will be good too. And then comb that jam through that section, you know. So right here, I'm going to add more jam to all the sections. And I like to just put it on my finger and rub it through my finger. So that way, as I go down, it's just getting on every piece of uh, hair. And then if I need to go in and comb it to make sure that there's no extra hair sticking out, however then I would do that as well. And I'm using um, um, 10 pieces of hair, and the first one was the littlest, and then they gradually got bigger. I got a rack that I bought my honeys off of Amazon now that I put my hair on before I even braid the hair. And it helps you go so fast and quick because you already got your eight braids set out. You know what I'm saying? So I'll show you here in a little bit what I'm talking about, but... Um, it's organized, it's ready, set, go. And then you have your client to hold that braid down because like me, I guess I'm a puller. And then you don't want to pull your braid up from that bottom and then they won't last as long. So now that this braid is complete, I like to take my comb, the back of the comb, the metal piece, and just sleek everything in there because mind you guys, this is still wet. So while it's wet, that's when you get it. You know what I'm saying? You go in there, you smooth everything out, and then you proceed to the next braid because like I said, once that dries, it's locked and loaded. It's not going anywhere.
So yeah, my honey, here's my rack, okay? Those are exactly 10 pieces per rack because there are 10 little sticks per rack. So that's just how I based it. If I didn't use all 10 pieces, then I wouldn't have needed to. But since I didn't know, I just went on and did that. She's going to have one side purple, one side black, and boom, we're done. Okay, I showed you two braids, and um... I was supposed to show you guys how I laid and slayed them baby hairs, but that camera had died, and we ended up switching to the iPhone, and 
now I'm back to the camera. You see the big difference, my honey. Like, I'm excited about this camera. And it's so crazy because I need to just start using it. <laughs> like, what did you buy it for? You're not even recording. But like I said, I got old footage. So that's why um, I haven't recorded anything new because this storage stuff, okay? And I need to just get rid of everything that's old, start fresh, and boom. Okay, every day I record some, get it out. Don't sit on it, don't hold it. So now I'm just adjusting to that, my honeys. I'm going in with some spreads, okay? Pump it up. And that's just to lock and load it even more. Um, everything was nice. She loved her hair. These them pop smokes. Everybody rapping and raving about. Okay, um, I like them. Um, I, I've been doing them. A lot of people has been coming, getting them done. So this is what's the simplest breakdown that I can do. Um, and it's a simple style. It's only four braids. Okay, so that's her purple side. Then her black side. And her dad was trying to uh, direct her. Turn left, turn right, show the camera what's up. You know, she has her own channel, so she knows what to do. But she was pretty tired, and it was pretty late. And at the end of the day, my honeys. <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, 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 the next one. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bye guys, love you guys mm.